So after the announcement of NEET 2025 results on the 14th of June, students and parents alike across India are worried about one simple factor. How do I choose the right medical college? And as we all know, there are several parameters one must know before making an informed decision. Moreover, finding the right seat for your NEET score. Who better to ask this question? Sujit Jha. He is the director of a learning and development department at Hello Mentor, and today he's here to guide us both for students and for parents to show us the facets and the factors one must consider before considering their admission journey and planning their admission journey. So, Sujit, sir, I will start with a very rudimentary question. First, first of all, first of all, hi to you and namaste to all the viewers. Namaste to all the viewers as well. Moving back to the question, Sujit, sir. The most primal factor, the biggest factor in your opinion when it comes for a student and the parents alike, sir, when choosing and filtering down medical colleges, which is the biggest factor according to you? Okay, so to select the right medical college, I think when you select the right medical college, this college also selects you back. In what case, let me tell you two factors which are very, very critical based on which you will get this college selection. Number one is the rank. Sure. Whatever is your NEET rank, depending on that, you can choose certain colleges, you can select and some colleges you cannot select, they are out of your range. For example, if my rank is all India rank 45,000, can I go for AIMS colleges? The answer is absolutely no. If I am a general merit guy, yeah. if I am a general merit guy with 45,000 rank, with no categories, no reservations, I may not be able to take the seats of that 2,200 seats of AIMS. Right. So they are out of my range. So. First of all, what is my rank? As per that, I have to filter out these possibility of colleges. Number one. Correct. Okay. So, rank will help you select the college. College will also select you. One. Uh, some states will give the state ranking and depending on that, they give the college. Okay. okay. State that like also, Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu, yes. So, that you are already aware. You have done your homework nicely. So, based on the rank, you can get the college. The college can select you. That's number one factor. Number two is your budget. Okay. Correct. The money matters. The M factor. See, budget is this. If you scored very high marks, then the fees is very low. Yes. If you scored very low, then the high fees is very high. Very high. Okay? Inversely proportional. Yes, inversely proportional. So, if your students have worked harder and got good marks, then the parents have to work less harder. Less harder. If exactly. students have worked uh, um, less harder, then parents have to work harder in order to pay the more fees. Nah, so, good. if your rank is, you scored less marks, your rank is le low. In that case, you will not be able to get the government seats. Suppose you are not able to get the government seat, government colleges, because then the fees will be less. Understood. In that case, you have to plan your budget a little higher. Suppose you are going for a private college, private seats, 12 lakhs fees, fees per annum plus. Okay. Yes. If your score is further low, in that case, you will have to consider management quota seats or NRA quota seats, which will go in the range of 25 lakhs plus up per annum. So if my budget is not 25 lakhs plus per annum, my parents cannot afford it. And so, could you illustrate, like nah. you mentioned, private seats being 12 lakhs? I'll complete rupees. this point. Understood. So, 25 lakhs rupees, if I don't have a budget, I will not consider management quota and NRA quota seats. So, I'll consider private quota. If my budget is not there, 12 lakhs rupees fees per annum also. In that case, private seats also out. Then, my selection of colleges gets very limited. You have to filter them down accordingly, one, by your ranking, as you said. And second, you select the college budget. and the college will also select you back. The so second factor being the budget, the budgeting of yes, the family. Yes. And you can see the students can stretch or parents can stretch a little bit. But my recommendation is beyond a point you should not stretch. Reason it will become very stressful for the parents. One. Okay. Number two, sometimes we have seen the cases that people have paid the fees for two years and third year they don't have the fees to pay. Oh my. So those kind of situations you should not get into. Right. So it's better to bit, play safe. But not too much. And so know your budget, know your rank, as for that you can go for the selection of the colleges. So both these factors that you have mentioned, sir, are in the control of students and the parents yes. alike. Students yes. control their ranking, parents control the budget 90% of the times. Apart from these, what insights into a college must I see? Okay, okay. See, uh, if third approaching factor, it for admission. Third factor which can be considered as a top most factor is, see, practice makes perfect. Correct. So you don't become a doctor just by doing classroom learnings. So you will also have to do bedside learning. Exactly. Okay, which is very critical. So for that OPD, IPD numbers will matter a lot. Understood. Okay. The if, inflow if patient. the patient inflow is not so great, 
in that case you will you will suffer because you will not be able to learn more right cmc velour is considered to be christian medical college velour considered to be top most private college in india yes the reason one of the main reason is the patient footprint is very high there variety of patient is very high here and that's why the exposure to the students is much higher around 2 million people visit cmc's hospital okay oh, wonderful you have done your homework again all right uh, and this is your opportunity to show off your knowledge as well okay now uh, see let's see we have done the analysis of bangalore medical college mysore medical college so bangalore medical college around 80000 opd patients footprint wow on an average last year january to december and mysore medical college has got approximately 47 understood so you can understand the gap more patients more variety of patient will give you opportunity for bedside learning more and that's where you can become a better doctor so if you are more obviously one should be inclined towards practical training and for that the patient inflow along with the institute bed count yes. is very important when considering these facts so you must consider opd ipd patient footprint number yes. when you are comparing between colleges yes. okay but that may not be the only factor as i told you rank budget opd ipd but any one factor cannot be the single factor you consider understood okay sir. and does the college's age matter for example if a college is 75 years old versus selecting a college that's mm -hmm. 10 years old mm -hmm. is that a a factor that that I must take so you are looking at me and talking about the age right uh, no no just Fine. the medical college no, no, that's, that's is interesting good. somebody said old is gold but i will not promote that old is gold point is see the establishment year for college is critical in deciding a college because it is an indicator Understood. that the college is more established can be little better mm -hmm. example aims new delhi established in 1956 almost 69 years old life span yes okay and aims madurai started in 2021 so just 4 years old correct so 69 years old and 4 years old you will definitely find aims new delhi as a better you know more takers for aims new delhi more established because it takes time okay it takes time for a college to establish suppose cancer research wing hmm. separate trauma Understood. care separate yes. okay you want to develop a wing for ophthalmology or maybe some research work it will take you time to establish global tie ups with the universities will take time accreditation nirf ranking okay uh, getting robust processes of teaching learning hmm. this all takes time so when you are comparing colleges a uh, college which is in existence for a little longer time they certainly have an advantage number one point but that is not the only factor see aims new delhi and aims madurai you can compare it and understand but let's take an example of uh, i think viewers will find it very interesting bangalore medical college started in 1955 31 years later than mysore medical college started in 1924 wow so from that standard when we are talking about establishment mysore medical college should have better ranking but whereas bangalore medical college is better ranking the reason for this is very simple capital of karnataka shifted to bangalore in 1973 it's so when the capital is shifted to bangalore bangalore gets more focus yes better ties with the hospitals Correct. because there are more hospitals also moni vilas victoria okay um, then is super specialty care then you have got uh, mintu eye hospital so more attached hospital more patient footprint being the in the state of the capital of the state this all has boosted this that's why in spite of being 31 years younger to mysore medical college bangalore medical college ranking is better owing to its geographical yes. specific so location. year of establishment will give you a rough idea but sometimes it may have some exception mm. you have to consider example in private college when you consider it may not be the indicator of a good college okay also uh let's take an example okay. i'll just give an example example ps medical college if you feel this is just two ps medical college bangalore is just two years old okay. started in 2024 right. Okay, with 100 MBBS seat now this year they will go for 150 seats. PS Medical College start PS People's Education Society was founded in 1972, so it's almost uh, now 53 years old legacy of running the educational institution from engineering to MBA to law and all that. It's a group of institutions. Yes, so with this experience of 53 years, plus they have also run PS Medical College in Kuppam, Andhra Pradesh, okay. which started in 2001. So with this all experience, when they start a college in PS Medical College Bangalore, they are not new. They are not new to the game. One, number two, their brand name is much higher. Number three, their quality focus is much higher. So, in spite of being young, many private colleges may have a better recognition, may be better uh, taking by the students. And even given the facilities plus the history, if the, the the number of beds and all this will matter. So year of establishment may be a good indicator for the government medical colleges one not all the time some exceptions and number 3 private medical college perhaps we should consider 
the other factors along with the year of establishment the year that the college was established but not necessarily in some exceptions the opd and ipd is correct, of a correct. medical college the attached hospital with it and alongside that we also need to see what the patient flows are and yes but year of establishment can be a key factor when considering yes. your options there are some more factors i would like to cover them yes. uh, so that the podcast doesn't go too long for our viewers <laughs> okay and that is ranking and accreditation yes you should check the ranking and accreditation of the colleges though it may not be the only indicator of the good colleges because many colleges do not participate in that so, but nir ranking nac accreditation you check on their website and try to get an idea okay that will be a good indicator then you will have to have you can talk to alumni okay yes no alumni will criticize their college be clear on this but still when you talk to few of them you will get insight into the college mm. how it is being run how it is progresses apart from seeking to alumni there are some simple factors boss which you also have to consider okay when you are opting for a college and this advice will go to parents more and students i think also but parents more <laughs> number 1 where, where is the college uh, what is the geographical area of the college right. okay geographical area means i am from south india i have been eating idli sambar uh, chutney uh, dosa i am fond of now i am getting a college less on extreme north or in assam guwahati then perhaps this kind of food availability may be Adjusting lesser there can be a picture Maha, climate adjustment may be a little difficult weather also you got to check right. okay somebody going suppose i am in bangalore for last uh, almost now 26 years you put me in very tough areas hot areas of rajasthan perhaps it will be a little difficult for me to and adjust your struggle if you so, are starkly shifting your location yeah so one factor is food availability the climate change the weather change the place change that also you got to check safety of a girl child hmm. you got to be careful about when you're putting girl child in the medical college you got to be doubly sure about how much is the safety of that place okay should be regulated yes, and yes. check always yes yes you- child's overall makeup also matters okay if i am a very robust child you know a tough rough mm. tough guy he put me in anywhere i'll adjust okay but in case if i am a little sensitive type then you got to be uh, thinking about it all you need to do is put in the hard work no and make the choice mm. that is right for you yes 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 if we could run this down from getting a neat rank to reaching a medical college if i had to summarize all the points that you have given so first of all i if i'm a aspirant i'll filter down my colleges according primal factor my neat ranking yeah rank after that i will move on <coughs> and discuss you will not filter the college as per rank and the college will filter you also yes as per the rank <laughs> like you choose your college and yeah, the college yeah. also yes, chooses yes, you yes, the yes. mantra that you have given to all our viewers today apart from that a discussion with parents to understand what budgeting factors are there very important to then the child filter. the child and the parents must sit down together and be very clear about mm. it because going to unnecessary stress on this is not a smart idea one number two one more practical idea to the viewers is when you are doing mbbs you are also going to pg courses exactly there is a big priority will do pg courses because any top hospital you go in order to practice you got to do a pg degree for that you also you need to have budget setting of your expectations both from the student side what they want and the parent side is very important yeah then moving on to examining medical colleges the biggest factor you have said and very important one is the year of establishment that gives a very good mark year of establishment opd ipd patient footprint variety of patients in the top college in the any top college the- is not coming in existence without the patient footprint there okay accreditation ranking as you said affiliations accreditation that i already spoke about yes, sir. then we talk about uh, talking to alumni and the factors like food weather climate hostel facilities more holistic what is the makeup factors. what is the makeup of the child that also you have to consider before you select it because it's not the child who is making all the choices parents also make the choices so know your child yes. because child is going to be hardly around 17 years when he is put into mbbs college say so that is there are few factors that parents also should consider and make a plan thank you so much sir for sharing such elaborate insights and such numbers that i think all our viewers wanted to learn and it has given them some direction to work into if you want more such insights subscribe to our channel and if you want other trends and personalized mentorship visit hellomentor.in today